Excuse me. You Konami Date. That right. is my name. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here, like shadowy, hooded figures, going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination, but do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Ah, the Illuminati. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw? Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Hmm. Tinasuki? No. I doubt it. When I was younger, but not since it closed, Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kawasaki District. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There are still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they... okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? Huh? Okay. The cop. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. The corpse was tied up here. Wait, wait Iba, a second. Can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. 
There isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. That must mean. So is it the right horse? One of these said skewered pole. Uh, you wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? You're what weird. What are you talking about? Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Oh, that that's what I meant. So like Is that a No, it's the Is that a booth. phone booth? This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. Hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you making that reference? <laughs> I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. So wait, what am I supposed to do? I... I, I... I'm being stupid. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, oh, cool. come on! Just a little longer. No, I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, yes. Fucking annoying. <sighs> hey, you all right? Are you okay? It's not mm. like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? Don't you know I don't give pounds. a fuck? I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. He's actually much lighter than I thought she Your would be. Back is so warm, no, Mr. I expected her to be lighter, actually. I can't differentiate if she's a. She doesn't seem like a bitch. Because if she was, then she probably would have held back the video longer, but. Eh. Oh, uh. Horrible. Yeah. Shame. You should worry about me more. I'm fine. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? I would put it right back where it came from. <laughs> Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. Yeah. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hey, Date. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax. I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're going to die soon? It feels strange. Uh, your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Ever get the feeling of deja vu? Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice.
You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already. No, 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 yeah. Oh, who is this, Iris? Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. That's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Almost blew it like that. Cool. Do you know me? Oh, uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. No. This is the first time we've met. Of course. Okay, cool. I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? I don't have one. Oh. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. Oh. It's all right. I... I've never been married. A single mother. Yes. Seem really nice, all things considered. I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. That, I can, I can see that. Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? No reason. Ooh, okay. Hi, Iris. Since I was born. And Mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but... I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. It's a pretty nice Why place, also considered. Moving? Well, because there was, well, uh, I don't know. Huh? Okay. Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Are you left-handed? Oh, uh, mom used to be right-handed, but now, <clears throat> arthritis it locked up on me. Ah, oh, okay, I see. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch. There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> the flowers. It 
it's an iris. Yeah, the ones that grow. An iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Yeah, that's iris okay, cool. Iris unviculurus. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. So what, am I that good thing? There we go. <laughs> yeah, thanks to you, I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! So scared. How am I supposed to react to that? <laughs> Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. <laughs> Nothing to say to the mo- Oh! Oh, that's just blow by. Whatever. Alright, I'm the fuck. Alright, I'm outie. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. Mr. Date, we'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. But other hand, jackass. Uh, excuse me. Well, I should head home. All right. Take care, Date. I don't like the purple fit at all. This doesn't look great. Like, the fit itself is fine, but on you, it just doesn't look great. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Oh, that's cool. Good idea. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Perhaps he's had too much medication. Don't push yourself, Date. No, I'm fine, Date. You do not appear to be fine. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I will. I will terminate you. <laughs> now, who is this handsome gentleman? Oh, it's me. I was fit into the center of the wheel. I'm trying to select Iba. Iba. Can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba. Can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. That's fine, I guess. All right. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. Okay, I was thinking something that else. Means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive it. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. I never then doubted her for news. a second, to be it honest. means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. 
Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Cap. Hide and You're seek. funny. It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Oto first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. I... okay. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Mizuki. Her eyes look dead. Did she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. <laughs> you know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Uh... Okay, I already know how this is gonna go. Oh, I did not think it would be this big old machine. Thought it'd be something like a little bit more simple, like my eyeball kind of just... Yeah, I got it. Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Wait, what was I going to say? I actually completely forgot. Um, I was expecting it to be like, oh, uh, I have a pretty much like shoots like a weird type of like really ultra violent like not ultra violent. I don't even know if that would like whatever like shoot some type of like beam from the eye into the other eye and it like sends a message into the brain or some bullshit like that whatever hey pewter about iba could you do something about her personality do something about it it wouldn't kill her to be more modest maybe a little more ladylike if you dare reprogram me i will self-destruct in your eye socket <laughs> <laughs> so you were listening huh She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. I have everything I can't. Oh, sh Jesus Christ, I keep yawning. I just want to go. Like, let me... Why can't I... Okay. If we don't do it now, this is it. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. 
Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be hey, able to heal her, old. Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. Renju Okiuras, did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? I'm fine with that. I just want to do it. Uh, do I... No? How do I get the... <sighs> We are ready to Okay, Date, cool. Go to the sink room. All right, let's go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Agent Dante, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. Hey. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. That's not true. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. Her mom's still gonna be dead, so like they sink deep down into their psyches. He's not gonna be able to go back to normal no matter what. At least not complete normal. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dream-like state we call somnium. It's Latin for dream. Oh. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. So why am I the oh, never mind? never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss, Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? Uh... Give some last two that you like. Hey, remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up, but it tasted so good. You were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story, or? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Date, our heart rate is steady. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. So am I going to be Aiba, or controlling Aiba, or am I going to be walking around as the funny man? Date. Date, you ready? Yeah, let's just get it over with. Okay, ready anytime. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Somnium world. What? Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Well then, let's begin. 
Ooh.